Hello everybody, it's me, Chicky Blue, and welcome to the 23rd episode of Sanctuary. Now, it's been a while since I've said that, because recently, even though we've been playing in Sanctuary, and it's been epic fun, we haven't been doing very let's play kind of styles, but I really want to get back into that, and because 23, sorry, is actually my favourite number, though I do have many, I thought, hey, let's bring them back, have a little fun, and don't worry, we're still going to keep building in mind, guys. I've not given up on loving building. I mean, look at this place. I feel like it's worth it, you know? So many of you guys that have chosen to stick around because you really love the new building style I've been doing. And don't worry, we're still gonna keep doing those. But I thought, hey, let's also do some of these just because I really wanna up, like, upgrade this world, you know? Right now it looks great, but it's less practical. So we're gonna make it pretty and practical. So all of the goals for every single Let's Play, they're all gonna have a build-in theme. And basically today's build is what you saw in the intro. Basically, the idea for what we're gonna be building today is a hobbit hole cow barn farm stable looking thing because right now i just have like three cows in a little sheep pen and honestly i think this is great for sheep because i never really use sheep that much i don't use wool in a lot of my builds but the cows i'm gonna be breeding them up and getting leather but for that we need an area for our cows so we're gonna actually head over here and across these like lily pad things and we're gonna be building here there's heaps of birch trees and trees around here and i have a very empty inventory so we are going to be cutting down a bunch of these trees just to give us some way to this little hill because like i said we are going to be doing like a hobbit hole style so it is going to be built into this ma mansion <laughs> i meant mountain uh but we do need some space so i'm going to start cutting away these trees to not only gather us some resources we can use but also just make this area slightly tidier so let's head into that Right, while we're still waiting for the leaves to like break down and you know give us a real open space, you can see how kind of just you know this area is kind of like parting out of the forest a bit more, and we actually got ourselves a decent couple of supplies. Now, you'll notice I have TNT in my inventory, and just a little bit because I have I'm not very good with creepers, I didn't have a lot, but basically, the idea is if to dig into this hill a bit and put some TNT in there to blow up. And I hope this is good. I hope this isn't bad. I've set it off now. Oh, yeah, okay, that actually worked. Whoa, okay, that went a lot deeper than I was expecting. That's fine, we can work with that. <laughs> this is where we're gonna have the entrance and we can dig some of this out manually too. I think that'll work best. The TNT is going to help us in our mass demolition. <laughs> that sounds so stupid. I'm kind of scared to do that now, but no, we're just gonna test it. Hopefully nothing too dangerous happens. Oh, we I think we burst out the top. Oh, just a little bit. It's fine. Okay, let's go in there and see how this area is shaping up, I reckon. Honestly, not too bad. So this could do with a bit of work on my behalf. After I go have a quick nap because the sun is setting, we can start digging out this area too, hopefully. <laughs> The TNT gave us a lot to work with, and I just wanted to do something fun for once, okay? <laughs> well, now it's morning, and at least a lot more of the leaves are clearing. We're getting so many saplings. This is really good. We can, because once this area is done, I want to plant some more trees back here because it's so empty now. Okay, so this might seem a bit stupid, uh, but I'm just kind of making out the rough ring shape I want this place to be uh, first, just so I can, uh, you know, figure that out. Do I push it one back? I reckon it's fine as it is, right? Surely everything in Minecraft is changeable, like we could make this hill fit our hobbit hole. Yeah, so yeah, basically this is kind of what it's going to be. I am going to use stairs and slabs there to kind of like make the shape. But for now, we've got to dig out this shape to make it manageable. <laughs> One time lapse later we have kind of the rough shape that I want this to be. Now I know it looks weird but I do have a plan guys, don't fail me, and it's symmetrical. I think. Basically, you know how our TNT went a little too deep? What I was thinking is what if we made this area like filled with glass, this hole on the floor, so we could walk over it, but it looks cool. And then we could maybe like plant some weed underneath or have a little water feature. I don't know, I just think that would be really cool and I can't wait to execute the plan. But basically, I'm gonna dig these out more, I think. 
and these are going to be the sides where the cows are so it's going to be like the gates will be like here and here and then there'll be cats here maybe here and here and i think that will be pretty cool so with our basic shape done i think we're not gonna worry with the interior so for now we're gonna start changing up this weird little circle thing we're just gonna use a mix of oak logs but i'm gonna strip them and we're gonna use a mix of the planks and stairs and slabs and stuff just to kind of make start with so this space shape is definitely there and then we have them as well to just kind of like mess it up so i did bring along my crafting table i'm gonna make a bunch of stairs and slabs so i'm gonna start with our rough outline first which i know i just said we were getting rid of we did get rid of it <laughs> We're just kind of adding it back. Yeah, see, I think that looks pretty cool. But no, 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 no. We are not, we are not finishing there. This is Minecraft. Things aren't circular, but we're going to give it the best attempt we have. And I even have some birch. Maybe we should add some of that in. Just for some extra, like, strangeness. <laughs> yeah, some, like, highlights. Maybe even some stripped birch logs. That's great. And we can put some lampposts on top of this. But we've also got a bunch of slabs and stairs to work with, so we're just gonna add those on, you know, soften kind of the edges, uh, make this a bit more sticky outy in some areas than others. We're just, we're just gonna go to town, guys, okay? Okay, I think I'm liking that. I really like that. We can climb up it relatively easy, and this area is gonna be what we're transforming next. Well, it is a new day in Sanctuary, and I just had like a little nap, you know, to refresh the day as. As you do, and while I was up at the house, I grabbed some more resources. And so if we head over to our build, oh gosh, I missed a jump. It's fine. The entrance does look good, but it's the interior we need to work on now. We were jumping around a bit before, but now, nope, we are going to use, we are going to get this done. So what I have, the idea that I have going kind of for here is that if we have this place like a little like farm, that's kind of what I envisioned. So I think if we just grab some water from outside, I've got some weed seeds on me and we can just start maybe having a little water feature pop out of here. If that just flows down there like that, we can start uh, like adding some dirt back into the area, I think. And then we can start uh, hoeing the ground so we can plant some weed seeds so that when these grow, I think they'll look really cute because <laughs> wheat looks adorable. Hopefully this area, it'll grow, but obviously we need to get out of this area. So if we make ourselves some ladders, uh, just so we can climb out of here. First thing we're gonna do is we'll just like maybe uh, put the just some basic walls in this area just to make it a little bit tidier. I'm just gonna be using oak. Okay, so just like that, I just feel like the area looks neater. And here we go. So the thing we're gonna do is I've got some white leftover glass. We can just cover this area up with grass. Why the smallest of tasks? So fiddly. And then I'm actually going to make a trapdoor simply because that way you can just walk over this normally. I don't even know why we would need to go down here. But if we ever desired it, we could. Let's just continue putting all the glass in place. And since we're not gonna have like enough, we can put a trapdoor over here as well. I'm just gonna wait for the birds to stop. I see this is what I feel like when this grows it'll be cute because cows eat wheat and it's just like they've got a little food source a little water area you know if you know me you know I love my water sources but now we have all our walls and areas to do and we need to add like pen lines so I've got a couple materials I need to place so I think I'm gonna make a chest quickly let's just chuck some things down here and then we can figure out what we need firstly so the first thing we need to do is make ourselves some gates now this is just we're gonna make a bunch of gates and fences uh, so we can um, fence off this area. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to have a gate on either side and then three fences along here. And then we can just do that on both sides because we're going for the symmetrical vibe. I feel like that works. That kind of works. And we can have cows in here and cows in here, but I feel like mm, it's not enough space. So the things we really need to tackle are the walls, the roofs and the sides and also opening this area up. Even though I did say we dug a lot of this out earlier, I'm just going to keep digging away till I get a shape I like that's symmetrical to an extent. Well, now we definitely have a larger area to work with to kind of have two sections. I don't know why I did that. I just feel like it adds interest to the space. The things we do need to tackle are all of these walls and stuff because where this dirt is unfortunately everywhere there's grass it means there's a hole but that's fine i feel like we can just break through and then i'll try my best to cover it up afterwards 
for now we need to create a design i think for these walls and then i will just i'll just copy that now i want the main thing to be oak so i think if we put like pillars of oak like so and then we can strip that and then go in with maybe oak like so and some birch just to add detail and then for this area here i think that we can repeat that on both sides of these walls and over here too and then for this area let's do something a little bit more interesting um i know i said we could delete this later what if we did like oh wait that wouldn't work it's too short <laughs> Fine. I'm not I'm not stupid. <laughs> what if we did like a flower design? Some stripped oak looks like so. I feel like that's kinda hideous. I am very much for making this up as I go, but I feel like that's fun. No, honestly, that's not the worst thing in the world. I can just keep tinkering with it and I'll get back to you when I have something I like. Okay, so this probably isn't what you envisioned, uh, but I actually really like it. Maybe we could put a lantern, which I actually have some of me being like all super prepared and stuff. Ooh, we could use my trains as well. There you go, just like that. We get like, I don't know, I just feel like that's a cute design. And so I'm gonna go ahead and replicate everything we've done over here and do it all over here and on all the other sides. Well, now I've finished doing all the side walls, as you can see, and there's only just a few more things to do. We just need to uh, do the other walls. I uh, I need to do the floors and the roofs, but I'm just planning on doing those in spruce, just to be simplest. And of course, we need to get the cows in it. Uh, but also, I've kind of broken a few holes in, <laughs> and I feel like there'll be more to come. So we also need to do a bit of landscaping and just fixing up things. Like this entrance looks horrible from the inside. But yeah, we have just a couple more things to do because the end is near. So that's all the more reason just to get into it. So I feel like because these are quite oak heavy, this should be more like birch heavy. Maybe because these ones are like vertical this could be horizontal i feel like this should go like this which i do kind of dig and then if we strip those as normal and then we can just use a mix of birch and what's this stuff the <laughs> oak there we go we can maybe do a we need a checkerboard pattern wait oops no oh, that would be wrong lb blue doesn't know how to do a checkerboard and then what if we even mixed in the rest a mix of oak but like in different directions that could work i like that we just need to repeat this on the other side yeah, we're poking, we're breaking this more. We're really gonna have to fix this up. Well, now the walls are in, we still got holes. And so just before I go to do the floor and the roof, let's fix up this little entrance area. I think we should just use some oak maybe, and maybe even just a stair like that. Yeah, there we go. I think this area is starting to really come together. So once more, I'm gonna leave you, leave us, just to do the roof, because that's gonna be kind of boring. And also the floor, that's also gonna be the same spruce. And then we can fix the landscape a bit. It's all gonna be really exciting. I'm just gonna go finish it. <laughs> And after a very long time, the inside is done. I had to raise it up a level here just to not to block off this birch. But I honestly think this area is great. I can't wait to get some cows in here. But even though I said the interior is done, if we head outside, yeah, we can see a lot of this, especially over this side. And honestly, the area around here, the terrain is not as nice as I wish. So we are going to jump into kind of like a time lapse of me just fiddling around fixing the terrain. So just like that, we finished building our cow farm hobbit hole thing and I have no idea what to call it still, but I think it looks pretty awesome. We have plenty of storage, our cool little detail underneath and plenty of space for our cows too. That's all for today's episode. I hope you enjoy this kind of let's play style. I hope that it's better than the ones I started off making when I started my channel, uh, but don't worry, there's still gonna be our regular building videos coming soon and the next one's gonna be next week because that's how we rock and roll. So if you did like this style or at least this build, leak a like as always. And yeah, we're so close to 25 subscribers. We keep growing every day and it means the world to me. So thank you so much for watching. Um, that's all. And hopefully I will see you all later. Bye.